All right, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Suave, and we back with some more college basketball picks, all right? Um, before we get into this pick that I do like for today, I mean, hit that like button, hit that sub But Like I said, man, college this year, man, we are literally 19 and 10. We're looking good this year on college basketball, trying to work our way into March, you know? But as of right now, we're looking real good. Uh, like I said, 19 and 10. Yesterday, our picks hit with Memphis. Um, two picks that I had with Memphis, those those hit. Uh, those were really good picks, so... We're going to get into the pick that I do like today, um, but hit that like button, that sub button. Join the Telegram. It is completely free. It is in the description. Just click the link. Join it. It's free. Game free knowledge, free free plays. We've been making money lately. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let's go ahead and get into the pick of the day. All right, so for the first pick, we got the Saints versus the Purple Eagles. I'm going by the nickname because I really cannot pronounce the original name, and I don't want to butcher it. Don't want to butcher it whatsoever the whole time. So... It's a division matchup, both in the MAA. Um, the Saints, they are literally 2-13. and 13. They're trash in the division. They're really bad. And the Purple Eagles, they are 7-8. and eight. They're not the best. I mean, this whole conference is trash, okay? I mean, going based off the um, conference wins that they both do have, since it is the conference game today, I mean, the Saints, they have won literally one conference game. They're 1-3 and three against conference games. Um, the Purple Eagles, they are 3-2 and two against conference games, and they're at home. I mean, they're 3-4 and four at home, but the Saints, they're 0-7 away. They're terrible on, on the road. Let's look at the last 10 games by the uh, the Saints here. So, they are 1-9 and nine in the last 10 games. Okay, they're 4-6 and six against the spread. They have literally only beat one team in average rider. Then they're kind of on the same level when it comes to the division. I mean, it's a division win, but other than that, they lost to the Mount St. Mary's. They lost to them. Um, they lost to who else in the division? They lost to the Fairfield, and they lost to another. Canisius. They lost to Canisius as well. So they're losing to all these teams. I mean, against the division matchup, I mean, they covered the spread, of course, against Ryder. They did not cover the spread against Mount St. Mary's. They did not cover the spread against Fairfield, but they did cover the spread against uh, Canisius. So, getting into some numbers here. So, uh, the Saints, they are absolutely terrible in every category when it comes to the offensive basketball. They shoot 39% from the field. They shoot 26% from the three. I mean... When it comes to um, the Purple Eagles, I mean, their defense is not good at all whatsoever. I mean, they allow opponents to shoot 35% from the three. They allow opponents to shoot 47% from the field as well. Um, but when we get on the Purple the uh, Purple Eagles offensive side of things, they have a top 50 offense. So on the three-point side of things, they're top 10 when it comes to shooting the three. They shoot 40% from the three, which is crazy. Shooting 40% from the three. Not only that. From the field, they shoot 48% from the field as well. So, on the defensive side of things for the uh, Saints, they are terrible when it comes to defense and offense. I, like, they have no top 10 category whatsoever. So, from the field, they allow their opponents to shoot 48% from the field. You know, So, all the purple Bobcats got to do is just play average. They already allow their opponents to shoot 37% from the three. This dang near the worst in college basketball. When you got a top 10 team shooting from the three, of course, they will put up numbers and absolutely destroy them especially when you can't guard the three either so right now they got the spread at minus six and a half for the uh purple the purple eagles i mean i like it i love it i feel like they'll cover that spread i feel like they'll stuff them out and it's the division game and not only that i also love the uh the over 140 and a half as well um just some fact they cannot play defense whatsoever. But then again, the only thing that scares me is that the Saints can they score the ball. You know what I mean? So I like actually, yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the under in that game. I'm gonna take the under. The only way they hit this over is if the only way they hit this over is if um whatchamacallit, if the um the Saints can get rolling. If they can get put up a little bit of numbers which they probably won't be able to. Um, they'll only hit the over if um, the Purple Eagles put up crazy numbers. 
But that's another play that I do like. But me personally, I'm gonna rock with um the uh, purple, the purple Eagles minus six and a half. Um, if I if you can catch them at minus six or whatever you can catch them at minus, just don't. I wouldn't go too far up to minus eight, minus ten, which I do feel like they're gonna blow them out of the water anyways. But me personally, we're gonna rock with them minus six and a half. And then their first half as well. I do like their first half as well. Um, they got their first half sitting at right now at minus three and a half. So I like the first half minus three and a half. And I also like the um, the original spread at minus six and a half. But that's going to do it for the pick um, for this game. Um, if you hit that like button, that's up. But I mean, it's more to come. Like I said, we're 19 and 10. We're looking really good. But hit that like button, that sub button, join the Telegram, man. Your boy Suave is out.